Hey, it's your boy BT, Gordon Taylor. You're watching Fifth Street Gym on South Beach. You're watching True School Sports. Well, it's personal between me and I'm going to do you some serious harm, you big stiff idiot. Okay. The Untouchable True School Sports Empire probably presents something the boxing game's been missing. Hey, what's going on? It's your boy BT, and I came here to talk some boxing with the thousands of True School Sports subscribers. Now, I know this might be a tired topic for some of you guys, but truth be told, we have to cut, we have to cover these things for documentation purposes here on True School Sports. Now, Chris Eubank Jr., Connor Ben, this whole situation, the latest and greatest update with this from a couple days ago. It, it was reported by Boxing Scene, shout out to the fine folks at Boxing Scene, that not only did Conor Ben test positive for clomiphene multiple times, July 21st, um, or like July 25th, and uh, I believe he said September 1st, he, he tested positive twice, even by his own admission. They were making Chris Dubain Jr. boil down to a 157-pound catch weight. They knew about the, positive, the, uh, the, the second positive test, or both positive tests, and didn't inform the public about it at all uh, in the build-up to the fight and try to still make the fight go on. And now it's reported that with all these things I've already told you guys, all the things you already know, now it's been reported that Chris Eubank's team was not informed about Conor Ben's first uh, positive drug test. And to me, this is very, very alarming. And it goes to show you that and I, I listen, man. I hate to, I hate, I hate to be the person that that makes conspiracy theories or assertions, but I know from the past, from following Eddie Hearn and listening to his interviews, he stated many times that the, that 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 the Eubanks were very difficult to work with. And I know that in the boxing industry, there is a segment of people in the boxing industry that, for whatever the case may be, whether it be jealousy, whether it be a bad experience, whatever the case, misunderstandings, they don't like the Eubanks. Okay. I really feel like I'm, I'm starting to feel like at this point, all this stuff was done to Chris Eubank Jr. as like a personal vendetta. Like, like it's one thing. Like, don't get me, don't get it twisted. It's one thing to stack the deck against the B side fighter or the guy who's coming in to fight the A side guy. Which I'm not sure there was an A side or B side guy, but it was a match room boxing promotion. So you know you have to say Conor Ben was slightly the A side guy in this case. So my thing is, you making a boil down on weight. Your guy's on PEDs. He's tested positive multiple times. And you don't even have the common decency to at least inform his team that, hey, our guy failed a drug test. So it goes to show you, man, it goes to show you, you know, the pride of life and the root of money, uh, the, the pride of life and, and, the, and, the, and the love for money is the root of all evil, you know? And it, and. And that's what this is. Like, like, like I've stated a few, a few times already. Um, and like, uh, I forgot the guy's in the channel name, but, but the guy I watched on YouTube stated, um, ben, Chris Eubank Sr. And, and Nigel Ben uh, don't have any beef or vend uh, personal vendettas anymore. They're cool now. But because of the, for the love of the pound, no, Eddie Heron tried to draw up some interest for this fight. And now he has made himself look like a complete fool. He's really... I think been the greatest aid and help to tarnishing whatever reputation Conor Ben had, and uh, yeah, and he's even tarnished the reputation of, of what I think is a great promotion company in Matchroom Boxing. But you know we can't look at Matchroom Boxing the same way we used to. I mean, there's dirt. All promoters have been a part of dirt in boxing, but that'd be Aram Heyman, Hearn, whomever. But this is like this whole situation. Every time I think it's, it, it can't get worse. It gets worse. So uh, make it that what you will. Connor, Chris, Eubank, Chris Eubank Jr. and his team were not informed of either positive test of Connor, from Connor Ben. Um, and these tests date back as far as uh, July 25th, the latter part of July. Um, this file was supposed to take place when? I forgot what the date was. I think, what, October? Something like that? I don't know. I, I, I forget the dates now. But anyway, let me know what you guys think. What what, what do you guys think about this and and... Forget Conor Ben. Like we know Conor Ben's in trouble. The, you know he's probably not gonna box in the UK again. But like, what what should be done to Eddie Hearn and, and these promoters? Because really, you know, I I just I really I really don't like um, the fact that you know you have the British media over there. The, the a couple I mean a couple guys ask him some tough questions, but they're not really pressing him. I think the way he needs to be pressed. So uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below about, uh, below about this situation. 
Uh, take, take the time to subscribe. And like I say in every single one of these videos, you can love me or you can hate me, but I'm just a kid from Daniel. So until next time, take care, guys. Uh, just like uh, uh, Mayweather's uncle would say, a lot of people don't know shit about boxing. Um, you know, um, you you do. You've done Thank it. Thank you. You about the only smart guy that I know, bro. Nobody knows shit about boxing. I appreciate it, man. I'm gonna say, man, make sure to follow True School Sports, always covering boxing at the highest level, man, and make sure to subscribe to his YouTube channel. Follow him on Instagram at Just a Kid from Daniel as well. Ooh, he, he the plug.